A Ukrainian passenger plane has crashed outside Tehran. Authorities say all those passengers aboard are confirmed dead. Thousands of people have fled their homes in the Philippines, seeking safer ground away from the danger zone of a possible volcanic eruption. Wildfires that have devastated parts of Australia. Hundreds are still burning, mainly across the southeast of the country. A retired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. The greatest moment in the modern history of our great nation. Donald John Trump, President of the United States, is not guilty as charged in the second article of impeachment. And the Oscar goes to Parasite. There's growing concerns about the dangerous coronavirus from China. 35 million people now under lockdown. Europe records its first cases. We now have a name for the disease, and it is COVID-19. Italy is the worst hit area in Europe. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Europe has now become the epicenter of the pandemic. We will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. This is the worst public health crisis for a generation. The coronavirus is, is, is the common cold. Siete degli irresponsabili, dei cretini, degli emeriti cretini. Se tu non esci, non ti preoccupare, non succede nulla, è inutile che scrivi a me, che cazzo mi scrivi a me, sta attenta a casa, non succede niente. It is really killing a lot of people. Coronavirus will overwhelm the NHS unless everyone starts to practice social distancing. Social media is filled with contents that are informative but also scary. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. This is a very severe sentence thrown at Harvey Weinstein. Historic losses on Wall Street. It's worst day since the Black Monday market crash back in 1987. We have uh, to postpone the uh, Olympic Games uh, Tokyo 2020. George Floyd repeatedly told the officers that he could not breathe after an officer knelt on his neck. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! It's been going on for way too many years and it is time for a change because we are tired. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition.
Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, Go NASA, Go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bottom Dog. This week, Russia pushes ahead with a referendum on key changes to its constitution. That could keep Vladimir Putin in power until 2036. Thousands of protesters who dispute the results of Belarus's presidential election. Prominent Kremlin critic is in a coma fighting for his life in a German hospital. The latest enemy of Vladimir Putin to fall victim to possible poisoning. Armenia and Azerbaijan are fighting a large scale war along the borders of the disputed region. Trybunał Konstytucyjny orzekł, że przepisy dopuszczające aborcję w przypadku ciężkiego uszkodzenia płodu są niezgodne z polską konstytucją. CNN projects Joseph R. Biden Jr. is elected the 46th president of the United States, winning the White House and denying President Trump a second term. We did win this election. We will lead not only by the example of our power, but by the power of our example. The UK's mass vaccination program against coronavirus has begun. The European Union has launched its COVID vaccine rollout with plans to vaccinate more than 450 million people. Deal is done. Four years after the people of Britain voted by a narrow margin to leave the European Union, the two sides have reached an agreement that outlines the terms of their future relationship.